Hello everybody and welcome to TCT Crafts Designs and Decor. Today we are going to be doing a fun little Halloween arrangement. Um, this is going to go with our Halloween swag that we just made. If you didn't get a chance to watch that tutorial, I'll drop the link below. We would love for you to go over and watch that tutorial. This will kind of kind of go with that little swag. We're going to be using our cute little eyeball spray. Um, so let's go ahead and go over our supplies. So I'm just going to be using a little um, uh, double. This is the gray color. We do have these in the shop. All of the supplies will be listed down in the description. Um, so you can get those down there if you want to make the same project. Okay, so I'm just going to be using a little double. I have this little foam pumpkin. I think I picked it up probably from Walmart or Dollar Tree uh, last year or the year before. This time of year, I just always, if I see pumpkins I like, I just grab them. I don't really keep uh, track of where I got them, but we're going to be using that. Of course, we're going to be using our cute little eyeball pick. We will we'll be using our coordinating little sprays. That go with our eyeball pick. I'm gonna pull in some of these fun little Halloween balls. We're gonna we're not gonna use the purple, but we'll probably use the black and the green. And then for greenery, we're gonna use a little bit of pine and a little bit of this wisteria foliage spray. I love the little twiggies in this, so we're gonna use that. Um, I picked up these two fun little picks at the Dollar Tree, so we're gonna try to use at least one, if not both of them. And then I have two little scrap pieces of um, black flowers. We may or may not use them. And then I brought in a black and white fair silk ribbon, okay? So those are the supplies we're going to be using. I don't know what if we're gonna use all of everything, um, but that's what I've got lined out on the table so far, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna take our pumpkin and we're gonna get it positioned. I've already got some little dowels that I just poked into the bottom of our pumpkin. I'm going to add a little bit of glue around there just so it doesn't want to come out on us. Okay, and then let me kind of figure out before I try to push it down in there, I'm going to let that glue set for just a second. So while that glue is setting, let's go prep our little eyeball spray. So obviously we don't want him that tall. It comes in a ridiculously long stem, but I guess if you're gonna use it in a big vase, you would need the long stem, but we do not need it that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's work on getting it cut down. Now, it does have this fabric that is um, wrapped around it, so we're gonna to have to cut it down and kind of, um, losing my train of thought here. We're gonna have to cut it down and probably glue that fabric back together. But I'm thinking we'll have it sit kind of in here behind our little pumpkin. So let me cut it probably right about here, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and break that, cut that fabric open so I can expose my wire here. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my little cutters. All right, and then we'll cut it off. And then I'm just going to glue, glue this just to make sure this fabric doesn't roll, want to roll up on us. Okay, so before we get our pumpkin situated, let's go ahead and get our little stem in. Let me see if that's still too tall. No, I think that'll be perfect by the time we get that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my floral pins. Let me get them out. So I'm just gonna be using these floral pins. Let me flip you guys to the other view so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna take these floral pins and I'm gonna put some hot glue on them. And I'm just going to start securing it with these pins. And I'm sort of going in at an angle. And I'm going to 
go at an angle this way, straight through that fabric. Okay, let's get this side. Y'all don't pay attention to my fingers. I've got paint all over them. I was painting some, painting some greenery and my spray can was not cooperating with me. So it ended up getting all over my fingers. I'm gonna cut this one down just a hair, it's a little long. So we'll cut it down just a little bit. Okay, there we go. This one here in front is a little long too, so. Let me pull it back out. We're going to have that black pick behind it, and we can always secure it with a um, some floor wire if we need to, if it wants to still be floppy on us. Okay. Let's get that in there so we can wire it if we need to. So I'm just going to take this little pick that we got from the Dollar Tree. If I can get the price sticker off of it. Goodness gracious, they got this one on there. We're going to end up cutting it down. I just don't know how much. I want to go ahead and just make sure we don't have the tag showing. This guy is going to go right, right behind here, and then we can wire him. We can wire him to our little eyeball. Yeah, let's take a little wire. So I'm going to take a little, just a little wire that we have, a little floral wire. Let's just wire this together. We're going to have all of our mechanics hidden so you won't see it. That'll give it some support. Okay. Love it. Okay. This little piece is just a scrap that came from the bush that had these. Got these at Walmart. This is just a little scrap piece. So I think I'm thinking I kind of want it like hanging down the front under our pumpkin, just like that. So let me cut it down. Yeah, we're gonna put it right there. Okay, so let me show you what we have so far. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We have our little stem. He's tied into our little eyeball pick, and we put our little, our little drapey, our little drapey bit there. Okay, now let's see if our pumpkin looks like it's done. Let me add some glue. We may have to fix our little gravy bit. We may have to pin it. Now that I have that pumpkin in there, let me hit it with some more glue. Just make sure it's not going to come out. Alright, I'm just hitting that glue all up underneath that pumpkin. We will 
we'll let that do its thing. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do the ribbon or not. I brought in ribbon to maybe do a bow, but I'm not sure if I wanna do a bow, so let's see. If I did one, I think we'd put it right in here. I guess we can. If we don't like it, we can take it out at the end. Let me see if I have a black. Um, let me see if I have a black pipe cleaner. So now let's put our little pipe cleaner down there. And you could use whatever color ribbon. I just want just a simple black. If I'd have had a black and silver, that would have been better because it would have matched our little pumpkin, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna get a little floral pick. I'm gonna butt up against, butt up against my bow. I'm just gonna wrap this around. wrap this little copper wire that came with it okay. and hit it with some glue. Careful not to burn my finger. I'm going to slide this right in there. tails that long so let me cut it down okay I'll mess with it later once it dries let's anchor that just a little bit with some of our pine so I'm just going to take a little bit of our pine branch here. I don't need the acorn. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little pick right on the end using my pick machine. Okay, so now I have a little pick. If you don't have a pick machine, you can use a wooden pick. You can use a scrap stem. And we're just gonna put a little piece of pine there. And I'm going to do the same. I'm just cutting this branch up. Now I don't want the little pine cone. So I'm going to take him off of there. Okay, let's put this. I'm going to cut this down just a hair. And save that little, that little nub for later. I'm going to go right behind our bow. Let's go, actually, let's use our little nutty piece for right in the center. And let's go right on this side. Let's finish this piece and then I will show you what we have going on. love doing these little arrangements. They're so fun and they're super quick and it's always fun having a little arrangement to go with your to go with your wreath. Just ties it all in together. Okay so here's what we have so far. Okay we have our little eyeball spray, got a little mini bow and we just anchored that pine around our bow. Okay now we will add some more of this pine in as well. So let's go ahead and just finish working with our pine while we're doing it. We may save a little piece for later, just in case we need a filler. Just gonna take this little piece and let's go kind of underneath our little pumpkin. 
just going to kind of give it a bend. Okay, and I'm going to go out to the side on that one. Maybe let's do a piece back here and then we'll wait until we get our other greenery and our little picks and sprays added before we add anything else. hole here but we got other things we want to add so we may come back and add some more pine um actually you know what let's go ahead and put one more piece before we just even get going let's add one more piece don't be afraid to cut this pine up make it the size you want it these are just little pine needles they will pick if your pick machine wants to work Go ahead and add one more little piece there on the center. Okay. All right. Now we have one more of these. So let's see where we want to get it added. Man, this thing is, I already know I want it shorter than that one. So I'm not even gonna worry about pulling that price tag off. I'm just gonna cut it down here. There we go. Now I'm thinking it's either going to come sort of out to the side. I just don't know if I want it in the front or the back. I'm thinking the front I like better. I'm going to tuck this up underneath our pumpkin into the foam. Okay, let me show you. So I just kind of went at a diagonal, sort of up underneath the bottom of that pumpkin and have it right here, okay? So that is what we have so far. It's looking super cute already. Let's go ahead and add some fun little sprays. I brought two, but I don't even think we're probably gonna, I don't think we're gonna need both of them because you get five off of one and that's probably going to be plenty because this is a small arrangement. So we may just save that one for another project. We'll see. Okay, so before I put glue on it, I want to just see exactly where I want it. Let me move this little leafy bit. I'm going to have to put a pick on it. I'm thinking right in this area right here. Let's put the loop out that way. Okay, I'm just going to push that down in our phone. We have our little loop to loop. Get another one. And I want to put it towards the back, like right in here. I may not have to put a pick on that one. No, I don't. And hit it with the glue so I don't have to put it back out. Okay, can y'all see? Just put it sort of diagonal from that one. Let's get a few more and then I'll hold it up where you guys can see it. So he's just poking out. And I definitely think I want one up either in the front of the bow or coming into the bow. Let's see. I think he's kind of right in front there. I like this piece better. Got that shoved down in that foam. 
me show you what we've got so far. Okay, super cute. So one, two, three, we've created our little tri triangle. Got a couple more, got two more pieces. So let me see if I want to have one kind of rolled up, coming out at the front. Yeah, we're definitely not going to need the second one. I don't even know if I want to use, I might put another one in the back here. Let me see what it looks like from the front. Or if I want it off to the side of our pumpkin. I definitely want to get this one added. I like that in there. So I'm just going to go right up underneath that pumpkin. And our little curly bit's going to be hanging out. Can you all see that? Ooh, just have it kind of curled up like a little, curled up like a little snake. We've got our little piece that's kind of hanging out in here. I don't know about, I may try to glue it because I don't really want it moving. Let's see if I want it on top or on bottom. I think on bottom. I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue on our on our and see if it'll stay. If not, we'll get a we'll get a pin after it, a foil pin. Cute. Okay, I have one more, so do I want it? I don't think I want to hang out for pumpkin. Trying to get it in the foam, but remember we have that um, the piece for the eyeball, the little floral piece is pinned, so I have to try to get the foam and not get that. So I just kind of twisted that one around the little branch there. Love it. Okay, let's see what we have. That turned out so cute. Love it. We haven't even put our little. Um, ball picks or our wisteria in there. Okay, so let's take a couple of our little ornaments. Now again, I don't want the purple. So I'm gonna just take the purple out. Let me just go ahead and just separate these. Let's put a little green piece here. We're gonna use these just kind of as filler just to kind of fill in our holes. I think we'll do one right here, kind of in the center of our bow. That'll help hide our little um, pipe cleaner. I can get it in the foam. There it goes. So it's like our little button, our little button loop. You can see, I just put it right there our little button loop. Okay, let's go on the back side. Now this piece I probably am just going to leave together and just kind of have it tucked right in there. So let me get a pick because I need the extra length to make sure I get that foam. And we're going to put that right up underneath that pumpkin. And it's going to be hugging our little stem. You guys see, we just kind of tucked it right in here. Okay. Now, let's get another one. Got 
Gotta roll away a ball over there. Let's put this one over here. Put that lower. Lower, just, oh, y'all look at that. Our little foam ball has some missing glitter on it. Well, we don't want that, that's no bueno. Okay, let me get my little, got my little roll away. Let's swap it out with, and use the black one. I'm just gonna re-glue it. These are foam, so they just pop back in there. Try this again. There we go. So now we just got that in there with our black one. Now I think we need another green ball right there. And here's one. So we will put it in. Right in there. Love it. Love it. I wonder if we want one right there, like a little baby one. So I just look, put a little baby pumpkin, I mean a little baby ball, right there on the end next to our pumpkin. Cute. Okay. All right, let's see if we want to use these flowers. I, I'm not thinking, we're pro I don't think we're probably going to use them, y'all. Stick it in the backpack here. Take off these leaves. Maybe we can put it in the back. Okay, so we can put it in the back just to fill in that little just to fill in that little hole. I just took the leaves off and we just got a little bud right there. We got one more. So let me see. I keep going back to this little, because there's like a little hole here. But I don't want to take away from our, our little guy there. So I think we'll fill it in with something else. We may not even use this other one. I don't think we need it. I don't want to force something that isn't needed. Okay, so let's just set that aside. Okay, and let's look at our little wisteria because I love the little branches on this thing. It's super fun. You can always just use the branch even if you didn't want to use the, it was cut a little twig off. Little, another little twiggy in there. Ooh, I kind of like right there. Okay, let me get a pick on that. Get it down in there in the foam without. Tell if it hit the phone. So I'm gonna pull it out. So I don't think it actually hit the phone. We've got that little eyeball bottom down there that's kind of hiding our phone a little bit. There we go. Cute. So we got our little got a little twiggy. Let's do another one. This one has a cool little curve on it. I'm thinking we tuck it up under our pumpkin here and we can kind of twist it around where we need it. 
Y'all let me know in the comments if, if this view is good. I'm trying to get an overhead view for you guys and then, you know, switch it back and forth so you guys can see. But if this overhead, overhead view is not good, y'all, I'm, I'm in the new place and I'm trying to fix my cameras um, the best I can for you guys, but I, I, I need your feedback, right? So let me know if this is a good view or if, if I need to change it. I can only do so much with the cameras, unfortunately, but see, I just kind of took that and then I just wove it through our little curly spray there, okay? All right, let's take a leafy bit. And this one may not be long enough. Let me get a longer one. Here we go because I still have this hole right in the middle. Oh, no, that might be too long. Could have gone with a shorter piece. I want to get stuck right in here. And again, making sure I'm getting in that foam to kind of fill in our little hole that we had there. Oh, y'all. Me and these pines always get in the marine. Okay. So just tuck that. Now see, I just tucked that right in there. Just kind of filled that little hole in. But we don't want that to only be the, the only spot for those. So we need to add these a couple more places just to kind of make it cohesive. So let's add a piece under there. Sort of coming out, we've got to fill in underneath that pumpkin. We, want, we don't want people to be able to see underneath our pumpkin. We don't want to see our mechanics. So this little guy, I'm just kind of weave through our little leaves. So he's kind of poking out. Y'all see that? Okay, so I stuck a, stuck a leafy bit there. Let's go in the back. kind of bent it down a little bit underneath our little bow. Okay, y'all see that? And I think we are about done. I just want to make sure we've got all of our canics hidden. We've got a little spot right here that we can kind of see something. I think it just needs a little bit of pine. So I'm going to take another little pine, pine bit. You don't want to use the pine if you've got some black um, greenery. Use that. I just didn't have any. And I tried to spray paint some and my can was giving me fits and it ran out. And I didn't have enough to cover it all. So I'm gonna have to get more. Um, I'm gonna have to get more spray paint. So anyway, I'm just using what I have. So we're using the pine. I am gonna go ahead and add one more there because we still kind of have a little bit of a hole. So I'm just using what I had. And I thought this color green would tie in really good with the bright, vibrant green that's in our little curly sprays and our little glitter balls. So it's kind of the same bright green. So that's why I went with that one. 
And the pine is really just a filler. So use whatever, use whatever you have for filler. Now I do still see one little hole. I'm not overly concerned with it. So actually I'm just gonna leave it because if I try to squeeze something else in there, I think it's gonna be too much. I think we're done guys. I think it turned out super cute. Okay, so here is our finished design. I think it turned out super fun, super cute. Um, so this little eyeball arrangement, he will go perfectly with our little swag that we made. If you haven't watched that video, I'll again, I'll link it down in the description as well as all the supplies. And if you loved watching this, um, you love to do, you know, fun and seasonal home decor, wreaths, arrangements, all the things, we would love for you to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. So I hope you guys um, were inspired by this design and had a little bit of fun. Until next time.